Hi, I'm Carrie. And I'm Dave. This is EW's TV Recaps for March 5th. Holy Rosalita, Troy's Bucket, You Broke My Glasses, Francis's Toupee, Rocky Roll, Gold Doubloons. It was the Goonies episode of the Goldbergs last hey. night. And just like Adam, this was the one movie that defined my childhood. They did such a great job paying uh, homage to it. They really did. From Cindy Lauper's Goonies Are Good Enough good to the enough. opening title font to the nearly shot-for-shot -shot remake of the Attic scene, you can tell that Adam Goldberg is a true Goonie at heart. And I may be forced to walk the plank for saying this, but I kind of like Bev's truffle shuffle. No, it's like this. It's more violent. Aww. <laughs> is it silly dance time? Fun fact, when Jeff Cohen shot the truffle shuffle scene, he actually had the chicken pox. So if you pause the DVD, you can see where the makeup people tried to cover it up. Wow, you are obsessed. I love how Adam poked holes in some of the movie's logistics, which is something I also did when I rewatched the movie as a grown up. I know if you got dropped on your head, you wouldn't be a monster with wiggling ears. I know a kid can't fall down a pit and be saved by chattering teeth. It was great to see how Adam cast his friends, including Emmy, our favorite, as Goonies characters. I thought they had a really inspiring choice for Data. Question, which Goonie am I? Okay, if I were a Goonie, I think I'd be Steph because of my affinity for red scarves, hoodies, and Corey Feldman in the 80s. Oh, who would I be? Well, nobody tell my mom about the chocolate. Shut up, chunk. Goldbergs never say die. This was the best. The best. Is it totally lame that I still know some of Mouth's Spanish translations all these years later? Oh, God, no, please. Si no hace muy mal trabajo, será encerrada aquí con los cucarachas por dos semanas en agua y sin comida. Guys, subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Twitter.